Hey everyone, this is Alex USA Days, and recently I had a question uh, from uh, one of the subscribers asking. So I'm starting my first day as a QA on Monday. I'm panicking, and uh, they say the video that they found didn't help at all. And uh, the video that they found is my humorous video about the first day of a QA engineer and how chaotic everything is uh, i'll have a link to that video in the description and it's just like a comedy that you know you just get bombarded with uh, different requests without any clear guidance and instruction how to proceed um, and the question is what essentially should i make um, sure i set up to help give me a smooth start okay so I mean, it, it's it's quite normal to be nervous when you're just starting and you're new at the company. Uh, but some of the things that you probably want to take care of, um, make sure, first of all, make sure that you have access to everything that you need to. Uh, check with the team, like if there are any onboarding instructions, typically there will be some page and confluence for a new person, what kind of things you need to get going to get started. So you will most likely need to access to different tools like Jira, um, access to Confluence. You will need to have access to accounts and so on. So just check what kind of permissions you need and see what you're missing, what you need to uh, set up. So maybe you'll have to install like VPN or uh, some other things. So that's a process that uh, will take some time. So within a few days, maybe a week, sometimes more. So you need to make sure that everything is getting properly set it up uh, and kind of keep track of, you know, what you still need to accomplish uh, in order to get all the permissions and so on. Uh, also, uh, make sure that you introduce yourself to the team, uh, you know, write down kind of who does what to understand like the, the dynamics, who's your uh, project manager, who's the product owner, if you have one, uh, who's a lead developer, QA manager, like, I mean, you probably will know some people from the interview, but in general, uh, it's good to know who's on your team you should talk to if you have questions. Uh, sometimes things might be uh, with the other team. Maybe you need uh, to have a contact to reach out to DevOps if you need some setup. So uh, just understanding who to reach out and uh, who's responsible for what. Uh, that would be like a good you know start. Um, also get familiar with the product within the few days, like what the product exactly is. Sometimes, you know, you'll probably have a description of what is going on during the interview. In your interview preparation, you will read about the product. But once you add the company, you might find there different nuances. Maybe you will be working on the specifics of a product, some certain set of features. Uh, maybe you'll be more focused on like API. So kind of check out the product what it does and what specifically you will be responsible for uh, another thing you want to understand is overall the process like how the development goes um, what is going on like is there like a sprint how long does it last uh, story points uh, when the QA comes in like do you generate reports on your testing overall how the process is set it up right um, and I mean Ask questions, feel free to ask questions, but also spend some time on your own kind of reading things out, diving into documentation, uh, looking through existing bug reports and test cases, just get familiar with overall structure uh, and like the framework, how people operate, uh, what is the process, uh, how you know a typical report looks like for QA, uh, who do they report to, uh, just, you know, Kind of exploring and understanding the bigger picture in a few first days. Uh, again, you should be able to ask anyone freely on how to do things and figure things out, and uh, please do so. But also think about like, okay, uh, how can I get, no, learn as much as possible before I start asking questions? Like, you know, just kind of uh, spending also some time on your own into understanding what are your goals for the next couple of weeks when you get set it up, what kind of tools are being used, the accesses that you will need, how you can familiarize yourself with that, with the test environment, uh, the testing report, the tools used for like screen capture or if there are any certain tools or what the company is providing uh, or you can use it some stuff on your own. Um, also, training is going to be hopefully a big part of when you start. So it's quite typical that company do provide some training resources. So this is something that you might want to take care of within the first uh, 
a couple of days or weeks, right? Um, yeah, and that's it. I mean, that's really it. You just start. Uh, pay attention to what's going on around you. Introduce yourself, talk to people, read the documentation, and make a checklist what you still need to accomplish in order to start doing what you need to be doing. Uh, and yeah, that's it. I think that you'll have a smooth sale uh, with a start like that. Um, and good luck. Uh, yeah, this was Alex USA Days. Thanks for watching and bye-bye.